hello friends welcome to java swing uh, tutorial in this video we are going to see the drag and drop feature in this example we are seeing uh, two text field this is one j text field and this one is a second j text field and we will see how drag and drop uh, works so you will learn uh, j text field drag and drop and you will also learn how we can use move and copy operation using the drag and drop um, so here we are going to use the default drag and drop uh, which is uh, supported by the swing framework so for text field uh, it will be the startup and uh, um, we will learn the basic of uh, drag and drop and in the next uh, video we will go through the uh, drag and drop between jlist that requires uh, our own implementation so here the implementation will be simple so what we will do we will create a, we will create a j text field so that's all required by default the j text field won't support drag and drop we have to make a call to set drag enabled then uh, we should pass true here that means uh, the text field now starts supporting the drag and drop so if you see here uh, let's consider two text field um, first you will select some text here after that uh, you will uh, left click your mouse then you start dragging so this is what called drag that means a left click left click uh, in the sense uh, the left button is pressed after that you start moving the mouse and once you reach second field here you will release the mouse left press then release so you can also call this as a drop so simply in the text field you will select some text then you will perform your mouse left button pressed drag which is nothing but move then finally you will release the button that will end up with the drop so this whole operation is called drag and drop so this one is called the source we can call it as dnd dnd stands for drag and drop drag and drop source and this one will be the dnd target so whatever text you select here that will go and drop it here so that's what called a drag and drop so windows user may use it uh, multiple times so we copy and move files using the drag and drop uh, feature in our windows explorer all right so now let's go to the example and explore the drag and drop feature between two text fields it's a demo time now so for this example we need two text fields so we are declaring those as class members
next we create two text fields so here tf1 will act as a drug source and tf2 as a uh, drop target so we can exchange also uh, during the uh, run we will experiment that so if you see here uh, we set a grid layout for our example uh, there are four cells so we created a two text fields that means here two more cell is there that's for the labels so label we are creating at on the fly so we are not holding any reference so to the add method of a frame window we are directly creating a label and adding it then we are adding a text field one after that we are adding a second text uh, field and before that we are adding the uh, label so now if i run this this is how our example looks by default drag is not enabled for these two text field so for now i am selecting the text first here in the first text field now i am attempting the drag and drop operation so i am uh, um, pressing down my left mouse button and if you see the moment i press down my left mouse button the selection is gone so that means i can't perform a drag and drop here and when i move nothing happens and now i am at uh, text 2 and i am releasing my mouse nothing happens so what we have to do we have to enable the drag and drop for the text field So now we will enable the drag and drop. So if you see here, we are making call to set a drag enabled to true. That means by default, this text field is um, set with uh, drag enabled false. So it doesn't support a drag and drop. We set saw that uh, just now just some time before now let's uh, run this and we will do the same thing so here now i am selecting the first using the mouse now i am moving my cursor here and i am clicking the i mean i am pressing down the left mouse button now i am dragging and if if you see the cursor got changed and you are seeing a rectangle here in the arrow pointer cursor arrow pointer now i am moving it to the drop location so i can place it anywhere so now i am placing it between second and text there is a space so now i am going to drop it here and if you see the first from the first text field is moved and it is copied over here now i'm selecting both the text here and if i do the reverse way it won't work why because text field one is enabled with the drag enabled but the second text field is not enabled so if i move nothing happens so to provide support for second text field also we have to make a call to for a second text field also now if i run this time both of the text field allows a drag and drop now i am holding down the left mouse button moving and dropping it here towards the end and you can see the text is uh, moved so if you see here now let me delete all the text from the text field one 
I am doing the drag and drop once again. So this will be the source and the text field one is the target now. Once I drop the content from here is erased. That means item three is moved from source to destination. So we can perform copy also. Now both of our J text field supports a drag and drop. Now I am selecting it. This time before holding down my left mouse button, I am pressing down the control key in the keyboard. Now I am pressing down the left mouse button. Now I am moving. And this time if you see, below the cursor there is a rectangle, small rectangle as well as a plus sign. That means this time I am copying the content from source to destination. That means item 3 will not get deleted from the first text field but it still gets copied to the second text field. Now I am releasing my uh, left mouse button in my drop target which is second text field. So I am releasing the left mouse button, I am releasing the control key. Now let me do this once again but at this time I am exchanging the um, drag and drop source and target and I am doing the copy operation that means I am going to use the control key and perform drag and drop. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.